Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Toronto Blue Jays. I'm your host, Nicholas Blaylog. And I'm your host, Adam Peddle. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the top relievers that are still on the free agent market for the Blue Jays to target. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to drop a like, comment, and hit that post notification bell button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, so, Nick, we have four guys on this list right now that are still available mm -hmm. that can easily slot into the bullpen for the Blue Jays and provide some great relief innings. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, I want to start with number one. A little bit controversial because I know that some of the fans of said team that he was on prior didn't love him. I don't really understand why because I love him. It's Kenley Jansen, man. Over the past three years, a 2.99 ERA. So right around that three mark, solid. A whip just slightly over one, 3.24 FIP, and 82 saves in that last three years. So this is a dude who was on one of the best teams in baseball, who's won a World Series, you know, who was pitching mm -hmm. in the postseason with them doing that and racked up the saves, you know? Yeah. I don't think that he would, like, I don't know what that would mean for us if he immediately comes in, he, like, m pushes Romano down, but whatever it does causes a great problem. Yeah, exactly. Now you have competition on that back half, and, like, you know, I could totally see a reality where Kenley Jansen comes in, and, like, he's not the closer. Mm -hmm. He's a great number eight, but what you what he also brings, like, you're talking about a World Series on a great winning team. Yeah. That's experience yes. in the back half of the bullpen. That's a leader that you want back there, and a lot of our bullpen guys are young young they're kind of inexperienced maybe totally, Yimmy totally. Garcia is the one guy but still that guy has seen it before and closed games in high pressure situations so I want this guy on our team no matter what his role I, is I do agree I agree I, I want to ask one question is the age a factor for you at all because he is yeah. 34 folks like he's definitely at the back half of his career there's no doubt about that is that a concern like a little bit like obviously it's in the back of my mind but that's why like you know if he does start to regress after this mm -hmm. then I like okay at least we sign a guy he will be expected Expensive, though that is the thing yep, yep, it'll yep. be the doubt that will be like the the floor for him that he'll mm -hmm. regress and everything and, but at least he provides that veteran leadership and hey i mean the last three years he's only gotten better so who knows maybe this is a little second half of his career push exactly that he's exactly i always say folks we can't just base regression on age it's based on what they've been doing recently and recently kenley jansen's been a stud number two former teammate for the dude known for his uh stint with the Houston Astros. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Man. Oh, man. I, that was that was one of my favorite moments. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> my, you know, and, and you know, I think it'd be amazing, too. He comes to Toronto. Like, we're obviously going to be making T-shirts with that face on it. It's oh, going to be incredible. I just thought of something. George Springer. <laughs> Oh, but we're going to say it anyways. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly, man. Joe <laughs> Kelly. I, you know what? That one went. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that you're right. My head. You're right. But you know what? Sorry, George. We need this guy in the let's, goddamn pen, Let's man. mend the relationship let's here. Let's mend the relationship, dude. And frankly, I mean, I think you can mend the relationship for a dude who's had the last two years like he has, man. They've been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. They've been so good. Last two at a 2.67 ERA. Uh, it looks like he was hurt a little bit because he only pitched 54 innings in that time. Mm. Uh, but the FIP is really good at 3.16 and I, I like this guy he always came out kind of in that middle relief role not the back end role but yeah. just that like middle relief role right after the starter finished and I mean hey we always need guys like that he's 33 years old he's a veteran guy I like him bring him on the yeah, team yeah and at the end of the day too it's like a dude like Joe Kelly it's like I don't trust him the same way that I trust maybe some other bullpen guys that are available, but you don't need to really put him in that spot. Like you're putting him in the middle innings, you know, and it's like and I feel like he is an upgrade over the current guys that we currently have in the middle inning. So I'd be very happy to acquire a dude like Joe Kelly just to help us even get to yeah. Romano, to get to Simber without giving yeah. up like 18 runs in the process. <laughs> would love that. Uh, the next guy on this list, and actually you guys have been saying this guy a lot, and I didn't even know about him really. It's Andrew Chaffin, mm. 31 years old, pitched on the Oakland Athletics. Last three seasons has been really good at a 2.95 ERA, 131 innings pitched. That's now, a lot. now, mind you, there was that um, the 20. 20 shortened season in that and the FIP of 3.22 um yeah what do you think about uh Andrew Chaffin we haven't really is talked it, about is him. it Chaffin is it Chauvin Chauvin I have no idea let us know in the comments down let below guys comments, what that guys. is yeah I read it a show I have no idea either yeah. uh, but I mean he's actually maybe on this list one of my favorites mm -hmm. because he's been like one of the most consistent in his career he's got a 3.3 ERA yeah. in his career and the last several years have just been dominant you know the FIP 
is right around where the ERA is too, which is just like another reassuring stat to see. And the fact that this guy eats up innings as much as he does mm -hmm. tells me that it's like, if we have a starter go down, like, uh-oh, like you shot the bad guy, we're in the third now, we can throw Schaffin in there and it's like, you know, for three, yeah. four, you know, it's like, sure. it's like he's he'll just get it done. And, and those are the type of players that we need on this squad. He's also not super young either, but also not super old. He's 31, which means he should be right in the prime time of his career. Yeah, literally last season, 2021, with a 1.83 ERA, with a 0.93 whip, and then the FIP under three at 2.98. Like, this, this guy could be coming into his prime. He could be a sneaky pickup that not a lot of people are looking at. I know yeah. a few of you are. Yeah. He could be sneaky. He's kind of one of my cheaper, underrated that's, pickups. You know what? And I think then that that's why he got him at my number one right now on this yeah, list. Yeah, yeah. Like I agree. He's, he's under the radar. He's cheaper. He's incredible. He's in the prime of his career. Yeah. He eats up innings. I want the dude. I love him. I, I love him before dude. he's even on the team. Uh, the last guy on this list is Colin McHugh, mm. who we've been kind of talking about a little bit more familiar with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, he had an incredible 2021 yeah, year. Yeah, it was phenomenal, dude. It was phenomenal. It was a 1.55 ERA. <laughs> And it's not unheard of for Ooh. him because in 2019, he put up under a two. It was like a 1.99. Uh, 2018, he put 2018, up under a two. 2018, excuse yeah, yeah. me, right, because he didn't, pay, yeah, uh, didn't yeah. play in 2020. But then in 2019, it was kind of like all over the place. Yeah. We're at 4.7. And this is my one concern with Colin McHugh. I like him. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I like him. But you're kind of spinning the roulette wheel right now. It's going to land on red. It's going to land on black. You know, like we're throwing a dart here because his whole career has been a roller coaster. You might get a 4.7. You might get a one and a half. I still like him. He was amazing last year. I'm ready to play that game of roulette. I'm ready to throw that dart. Mm. But I just wanted to throw that out there that it's not as sure of a thing in my mind as an Andrew or, or a Kenley Jansen. Right. Oh, well, I'll bring up uh, something there. Uh, that, like Speaking of Kenley Jansen, he's 34. Jansen's 34. Is that any concern of you with the roulette table? Um, You know, that uh, that is for me why Colin McHugh is probably like the last one on this list for me. Right. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. Like, yeah, like, I hear what you're saying. Just because like Kenley Jansen when he's 34, like in the last three years, we haven't seen any problems at all. Whereas for this guy in 2019, there was there was a blip, mm -hmm. you know, there was a blip. I, I do like Colin McHugh, maybe in my opinion, just my take. I like him slightly better than Joe Kelly, just because like he moved to Tampa Bay, he played for Tampa Bay, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden like boom, 1.55 ERA. Tampa Bay is really good with their pitchers. That's true. He probably unlocks something, and so are we. We're really good with our pitchers too with Pete Walker. So maybe he takes that over that same mentality over there. They stick with it. Maybe Colin McHugh could be really good. But then again, 34 years old, you know, what are you going to get? We don't know. Yeah. I mean, and the thing is too, is like, I'm still very happy about mm -hmm. this dude. If mm -hmm. we acquire him again, Chopin, uh, Kenley Jansen, like those are like my top, top guys for me. Mm -hmm. But again, like th this is a dude who I think has more upside than some of the current guys that we have in our bullpen. If he puts, mm -hmm. if he goes anywhere close to what he did last year, then whatever we've signed them on, we're laughing. Absolutely, absolutely. So guys, let us know in the comments down below, is there anybody that we missed on this list? Because there's a lot of relievers still out there. Still. So let us know what they're doing and maybe why we should go get them mm -hmm. this offseason whenever we come back. Yeah. Uh, so let Pray us know. Pray to God it soon, folks. God, I hope. You can also check us out on Spotify, Breaker, Anchor, Radio Public, and Google Podcasts. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, comment down below like Adam's saying, and if you want to win a jersey, FanDuel's the way to do it. Link is in the description. Hop onto there using that link. And also, $3 a month to become a Patreon member. Shout it and thank you to every single one of these Patreon guys. You guys are studs. We appreciate you so much. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And go, go Jays, go! go.